Hey everyone, Kevin Newsom coming to you from Houston, Texas, wishing you well on this late October day. There is no bigger story in athletics, in sports news right now in the state of Texas than what's going on at the campus of the University of Texas at Austin, specifically with the eyes of Texas. After the backlash following the Red River Showdown in which only one player remained on the field to sing and stand for the eyes of Texas, the UT fan base became irate. Rumors began to swirl that big money donors were considering pulling their pledges and removing their funding from the athletic program. The fan base became irate and many UT alums and boosters said, this is our line in the sand. You have destroyed and dismantled history and traditions for over a decade on campus. You're not touching the eyes. Well, shortly thereafter, lo and behold, the athletic director, Chris Del Conte, changed his tune and said, well, we expect all of our athletes to be on the field and stand for the eyes of Texas. We need to show support and respect for the fan base. And this is a refreshing change of direction from the administration in Austin, especially given that prior to the season, Texas football coach Tom Herman threw the fans under the bus. And in comments he made before the season, Coach Herman essentially blamed Texas football fans for many of the social ills plaguing the country. So seeing the athletic director finally come out in support of both the fans and the eyes of Texas is a refreshing first step. And it's truly good to see. It is. Even if it's four months late, better late than never. I'm glad that the administration has finally come out in support of both the fans and the eyes of Texas. So we'll see how things go. University of Texas scheduled to play a home game this weekend against Baylor University. And we'll see if the administration and the players are serious when they say that all of a sudden they are standing up for the fans in the eyes of Texas. Reading some of the mainstream press about this incident, we see that some of the players are actually already calling for people to stop talking about this issue. One player said that the eyes is now a distraction. It's distracting us from our on-field performance. So let's just focus on coming together and winning football games. And that sounds wonderful, and I hope that happens. But one of the biggest takeaways from all of this, and this is what used to be called a learning experience, now a little more hip to call it a teachable moment. This is something that the administration, the athletic department, the players all need to take to heart. And that idea is this, actions have consequences. Whenever you act, there's going to be consequences. There's going to be a reaction. When you open the floodgates, don't complain when you get wet. When you open Pandora's box, don't complain when all hell breaks loose around you. The players, the administration, the coaches, the athletic department all say, okay, we respect the fans. We'll stand for the eyes. We'll see. We'll see. That message should have been relayed four months ago. Again, better late than never. I'm glad to hear it in October, even though it should have been said in June. But I'm glad to hear it now. But to the administration to the athletic department and the coaches and to a lesser extent the players the eyes of texas will be upon you saturday the alums the fans the boosters will all be watching we're going to see how serious you are about your claims 
about respecting us, the fans, and more importantly, respecting the university. This is Kevin Newsom coming to you from Houston, Texas, saying God bless each and every one of you. I'll talk to you later. Texas Fight.